Hey Tyler, JK Galloway here, jumping back into beef. It's getting weird now, episode four, season one. It's called Not All at the Same Time. I don't know what it means, but uh, it sounds like Everything's getting so complicated. I mean, the lightest thing I can think of is that Allie's husband is masturbating to one of Allie's employees, who's a bit younger, in their early 20s, I'm guessing. Frankly, I don't think that's that strange, other than the fact that you can meet that person in real life. That's, that's a little like, hey, I've gotten off to you. You know, that's a little weird. No, I know you. No. <laughs> it's weird. But that's like the least weird thing going on right now because to me, it's weirder to me that, that Danny is kind of refinding his faith. Like he's going to church again, which is what he did uh, with this girl who's still going to the church, whose husband is the leader of the band or something like that. They're both at the church all the time. And it seems like Danny's finding faith again. Like, it doesn't seem to be about her. Not terribly, at least. Not a lot. She's very pregnant, so that helps. But at the same time, it seems like he's going to rip the church off. Like, he's getting them to take out a big loan for renovations. So he can take that money and buy his folks a place, a piece of land. And get them back to America from Korea. But, but... Like, his, he, he genuinely seems like he's getting back into faith, but he's still going to rip off the church. Yeah, I don't, I, we'll see. Meanwhile, Allie, who's, you know, attempted to catfish Danny, but ended up catfishing Danny's brother, Paul. And then when Paul showed up to meet, because he was using the same girl's photos, but Allie was using the same photos from the girl that her husband, you know, uh, and Paul dug those photos too. So Paul shows up at the studio where they both work. And Allie, you know, did, you know, sweep him away saying, hey, this, this was me. It's my fault. It's not your fault, but, you know, I'm sorry. And Paul kissed her. And was like, you're way hotter than those girls I saw before. The girl, you know, pictures, Kayla, blah, 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 blah. I don't know where Allie's going to take this. It could be as simple as, you know what? I'm not terribly happy in my fucking marriage. So, sure. Let's play with this thing for a little while. And hopefully, you know, nobody gets hurt. Or, <laughs> she could joyfully destroy this young man in order to hurt Danny further. Because that seems like her favorite thing in the world right now is her little war with Danny. I hope they all talk at some point. I just don't see it happening. Just not all at the same time. They're all the, the people communicating would be good. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Like and subscribe, all that fun stuff. You know what to do. Let's jump in. Here we go. Ugh. Terrible song. I Uber everywhere, so oh. I'm usually in the back. Yeah, so, so which one is your place? Oh, don't worry. I'll tell you. Why are you driving home? I like the way you drive. Smooth. Okay. So you want to hang out this week? Uh, you know, I have to go to Vegas for work, oh, so... Okay. My boy, he's about to pop off. He's a solid. I came up with his nickname, the Japanese disease. You know, it kind of sounds like... Oh, you don't have to... Let... Paul, I'm married. Yeah, I... Look, you, you seem like a really good kid, and, um... Oh, kid. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. Go, 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 go now before, um, before I do something stupid. It's so complicated now. <laughs> it's 
<laughs> For fuck's sake. What kind of white girls you fuck with then? Italians, bro. What? Yeah, they're the same as us. Peninsula mentality. Yo. Peninsula mentality. <laughs> That's outsa That's outstanding. Please. Wait, so we can steal all this and pocket the church money? God is good. Amen. You know who you are? Hmm. You're Korean Robin Hood. Oh, yeah. And I'm Korean Aladdin. Why? I'll hold down the fort. I really thought this would help us refocus on one another, you know? Well, don't worry about us. You got a kid. Give me a front hug. None of that side hug shit. Tip to tip. Come on. Dude, don't tip to tip. Oh, fuck. It's so strong. Hey, Isaac, you want some orange juice? <laughs> Can I borrow your truck? What do you need my truck for? I see my girl in Vegas. <laughs> oh, she's your girl now? <laughs> yeah. But she did ask me for this dick. I'll believe it when I see it. Yeah, I'm sure you saw plenty in jail. What the fuck you say? Oh, I'm just kidding. It's okay. Hey, 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 hey. Yo, why don't we um, celebrate the new job? Oh. Uh, you guys want more? Yeah. yeah. That's good. Don't spit it back in. Okay, that's fine. Bluff it. But, ew, dude. Don't spit it back in. Ew. So you're just gonna get them shit just hammed up and steal the truck. Okay. 99 finger massage, 10 of the best masseuses in the world, and they massage everything. 99? 99. God damn it, that's excellent. Paul oh, took the keys. What? Fuck, all that shit we took is still in the truck. Shit. You really gonna do this? Okay, here we go. If we're gonna hang out, we can't do anything physical. I wasn't even thinking about that. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Remember when I got you high for the first time and you puked all over the motel oh, lobby? Yeah, oh, dude. Your vomit was pretty because you love Skittles. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to pour the Skittles into the Coke. Yup. Paul used to oh. copy me, man. I feel like you were a stoner back then. <laughs> This as a kid. It's no, you really easy. Liar. Oh, shit. This is a horrible idea because you're gonna have fun and connect. And might actually start digging each other. It's a bad idea. It's not all about you. You sound like my brother. He works so hard for everyone but himself, and I see how unhappy he is. He regularly drives an hour and a half to what he thinks is the best Burger King just to eat four original chicken sandwiches. On the property, he wants to get to his parents. That's why he drives there. You know how in video games, like, when other people die, the game keeps going. But then when you die, it's game over. T. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? Consider this a thank you. Um, I feel like a whore. <laughs> Don't let your brother get you down, okay? Oh, now he shows up. Oh, hey, Paul, Paul, get your ass over here. Yo, hey, are you are fucking you kidding me? Oh, Why are you running? I'm not gonna be affected by your brokenness anymore! What? That's Jesus! That's the white devil talking! Hey! <laughs> Where's your girl, huh? Go back in my day, the kids flap their mouths, they get sent away. Whole family in the mission field. Me? I got shipped to LA! When you die, literally no one's gonna care. Ooh! Shut your fucking mouth. You wouldn't be here without me. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Jesus. He's gonna slap the shit out of him. Oh, hello. What the fuck? Shit, dude. Next gen. First class. Future. This is the new X-Men. No, no, no. That's the Road Rage bitch. 
It wants you to fucking balance the karma. No. Yeah. No. Let's do this shit. No, stop. Uh, yeah, this is a question for Amy Lau. Oh, hi. Nice to meet you. Ask away. Please stop. Um, I'm just wondering what you would do in my shoes. This woman just starts honking at me from her fucking perfect white SUV. And then this psycho starts trolling my business. Security, I think some um, drunk tourists have wandered in. Is that what that is? The average consumer loves alcohol. I mean, clearly. It's a good save. Miranda! <laughs> Dude, but they're not cops. What's the okay? That's too far. You're gonna get arrested again, man. More fun as a blonde. I want to stay on. Wow. What? Really? Look, Jordan. I know you probably planned for this. No. But, uh... Welcome to the family. Great job with the hecklers out there, by the way. That's typical Vegas riffraff. Put your hands in the air. Fuck. Hands on your head. Turn around. Wow! I mean, Amy heard a lot about Danny from Paul this episode, and she's got to know they're very similar. Like, as far as, you know, their depression, they're putting on a face, you know, hiding behind a mask at all times, shit like that. And their damn road rage thing was a moment where they both have decided, fuck it, I'm not wearing the mask anymore. Just have a goddamn conversation. <laughs> I'm genuinely hoping, uh, by the end of the show, the season, that they do finally have a goddamn conversation and realize, you know, we're super similar. We're super similar. And, like, not that they can help each other out or anything like that, or financially or whatever, but... Because now, like, yeah... Amy's on her high horse. She's decided, yes, I'm going to accept the deal. $10 million. I'm going to stay on for five years. And, you know, Jordan has ignited her confidence, you know. There's just like, nothing wrong with that. But with confidence, sometimes cover comes with, you know, being overzealous. And just, you know. Yeah, like, it was a dumb fuck move for Danny to try to interrupt her speech. Whatever, right? bigger dumb fuck move for cousin to punch a security guard because that what the fuck you why would you do that like it was stupid enough for Danny to spit in someone's face and then for other dude who's on parole <laughs> punches a security guard like you're going back to jail dipshit and Danny probably won't but he'll have they'll have a big ass fine on his ass and probably be banned from that particular casino in Vegas but uh I'm sure he can give a shit. But then Amy had to pop out and give, give him the Matumbo. Just mean. Yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens because, you know, Paul and Amy, I think, are still going to have a relationship. Or at least some sort of a friendship. I don't know if it's ever going to be more than that, you know, because Amy's wanting something, some, like something to spark her, but it's not not a dude she has a dude you know what I mean like it's not, she's not looking for a new dude it's not like the dude she's with isn't enough plenty enough like that's not the solution the solution is just feeling like she's in control right and yeah you couldn't do that with a new relationship especially with a younger person like that that's why so many old men date young women is because their whole lives they've felt powerless and never in control and they want someone to control and it's not a healthy thing to do especially for the young woman but there you go it, that happens all the damn time but she's got it elsewhere she's gonna have that Monday not looking forward to uh, <laughs> Danny and, uh, and his cousin in jail together because his cousin's gonna be like <laughs> I got it from here <laughs> you just follow my lead <laughs> I don't know bad things are gonna happen in jail I already know that but yeah like they've got all that stuff in the truck that's a problem Paul's gonna be completely in love with Amy we know that I'm actually quite surprised that Paul didn't follow them down just to see Amy on, you know, 
doing her thing and that she was the what's Paul gonna do when he finds out that she's the one that Danny had the road rage with like he's gonna take Amy's side obviously but how far is he gonna take it I don't know getting slapped in the face like that I don't care how old you are that's mm, that would be plotting thank you guys for watching comments let's not cheat out of that one and we'll jump into number five next week and see what the fuck is going to come up with this now. Because, you know, it's still quite complicated. You know, she's more or less has a relationship with Paul now. You know? That's just, yeah, I don't know. And what the hell are Danny and the cousin going to do? I wish I could remember the cousin's name. I can't remember it. But great character. Great character, obviously. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Appreciate you. We'll talk to you next time. Thank <laughs> you.